Welcome to the Adam Shop channel on YouTube. I'm your host, Mohamed Azam, and this is the Learning iOS Development Part Number 16. Uh, and uh, in this part, basically, I'm going to show you how you can transfer the values uh, in Storyboard from uh, basically one view or the one controller to the other. Let's look at, look at our Storyboard. This is a Storyboard that we worked on the last time. Uh, we have a Customers and then you can see the add button when you click the add button it goes to add the customer okay and these are all so this is a table view but the thing about this table view is that these are static cells okay and instead of text over here we can just change the property to let's say enter the first name okay and same thing over here we don't really want the text to appear we want the placeholder, which will say last name. All right. Um, one important thing when you make the table view static cells is that you there should not be any code uh, for the table view, like the default code. So if I go to, let's say over here, you can see that although it is a table view, I have removed most of the events of the table view control or the table yeah view control and the reason is that if you have those events let's say number of rows return number of section return and a cell for index path and all that stuff then it will not render the table as a static table even though we have said that this is a static table because that's in code that will override the static behavior and it will make it dynamic so always make sure that the content type is set to static cells and also make sure that there is no code related to the UI table view like the delegates uh, contained in your code behind file. Okay. Um, if I go over here in the add customer view controller you can see that I have declared a protocol which contains a delegate. This is a add customer view control controller did save delegate. And basically this delegate will be fired, uh, will be invoked whenever I add the customer. And it's going to pass in the new customer that you just created. And it's going to pass it to the list, which is the customer customer's uh, view controller. Okay. And you can see over here in the header file that the customer's view controller basically consume this add customer view controller delegate okay and this method is implemented over here so we add the newly new customer to the customer's collection and we re refresh the table so let's say if I run it right now so here's the customer's uh, view and we say add and I say over here John Doe and I say save you can see that it this view is not uh, collapsed or not hidden also and when I click it it doesn't disappear okay so we need to hook up one more event or one more method which will make oh, everything work and we are going to add this method in the customers view controller and this method is called prepare for segue and this is fired uh, just before the control or the controller transfers uh, the control to the next controller okay so let's say UI navigation controller that's because there is a navigation controller that we are targeting the next controller that will be passed to the control is the navigation controller okay so we get that and then we say add customer view controller add customer view controller this is just to get that uh, uh, the navigation view controller and that is uh, inside the view controllers hierarchy so here we view controllers and then we can say object at index uh, we can pass zero 
and then at this point we can simply say that okay add customer controller dot delegate we are going to delegate uh, set up the delegate this actually means that self which means this particular file or this particular class which in this case is customers view controller and we are setting up the delegate so that uh, when I you know when uh, this is invoked when the delegate is invoked over here let me show you here then it knows that who is subscribed to it and who to fire okay so it's going to go over here uh, and fire basically this particular function this particular method okay um, another thing actually you what you want to do is that since uh, the plus sign over here let me show you there are multiple ways like let's say if you click the plus button it can co it can go to this particular controller right the navigation controller but you can also have a another button over here which is going to somewhere else so how do you differentiate that which delegate to attach and also which controller is your destination controller so if you check out this this is the uh, segue uh, we have placed an identifier over here which says add customer okay and we can make we can make a check in our code which is uh, right over here that we are only going to implement this we are only going we are only interested if uh, this is the add customer okay so I'm uh, just going to say if segue dot identifier is equal to add customer okay let's build this and let's run it I'm going to say plus sign let's say John Doe and where to go I wonder if it's a debugging or not let me see over here let's delete all of those and here we go so we have the first thing basically over here okay and I go over here and I say uh, I don't know Mary whatever Kate and you can see that the first thing is actually being added so in this particular screencast we learned that how we can identify uh, different segues by using by giving them an identifier and also how to implement the static cells so these are static cells uh, which are implemented and it sends the data back to the list okay and that's pretty much it I hope you like this tutorial if you do uh, I'm always open for donations and if you like to send donations uh, you can always send it to PayPal using the uh, using the email adamsharp at gmail.com hope you like this video thank you very much